This video is all about my first ever bases. Now, I've just got into Star Wars Legion, and to play the game, your minis need to go on bases, and I just painted up my first squad. They're shinies from the Rishi Moon episode of Clone Wars. It's basically a grey moon with black pop marks in it. So this is a surface you could paint in many different colours, and the techniques will be brilliant for so many different types of bases. So the first thing I needed was bases, and I chose to 3D print these in FDM because they're nice and robust. I then wanted to magnetise them. So I've got these office magnets, they're sat on a bit of wax paper over a ferrous sheet, and that ferrous sheet goes into my transport system that I've also 3D printed. Hot glue gives me a little bit of padding, and the ferrous sheet makes sure they sit nice and flush when I put the tops on. I need an undulating surface for this moon, and I briefly flirted with the idea of using Daz clay, but I decided to use foam. Now this is craft foam, it's a little bit more dense than insulation foam, but you could use insulation foam for this. The thing not to use is the white beaded types of expanded foam. But to glue that foam down, I roughed up the surface of my 3D prints, because these were on the base plate, so they were nice and flat. And I used a mix of white glue, because it's got a bit more time to it, and then hot glue that catches immediately. I find I just don't have enough time with hot glue on its own to get these glued round the edges, but I'm in a rush to get on, so the hot glue will set up immediately. I wish I'd used a little bit thicker foam for these individual mini bases, because there just wasn't quite enough to sand, which is the next step. To speed it up a little though, I used a scalp blade at first to carve out some undulations on the thicker foam. This was a bit that was just thrown in a box, and because it's really rough on the surface, so it helped speed up the sanding step. Now I sanded around the edges to get a nice circle, and I used an emery board, very cheap way of getting sanding materials, to smooth out all of the roughness that was there, and create this flowing surface that we're looking for. As I had such a thin layer on the individual mini pieces, I really just tidied up the edges and that's all I could do on them. And now for those holes. Well, I've got a Despy electronic pen, and whilst I'm sure I could have carved these out by hand with a round file, this made it all so much easier. It doesn't quite smooth the edges, but it does a great job with a routing tip of just creating the depth that I need for the holes. And to smooth out those edges, I used 400 grit sanding sponges because they're flexible enough to smooth out those edges. So now I have the bigger holes, I need to find a way to do the smaller ones. And for that, I used this compass. This pair of compasses are brilliant because the needle on them is quite chunky. I guess you could use a wool needle or something like that instead, but this is easier to handle. And I just stabbed repeatedly my base until I got a nice, holy surface. And now to paint it, but I also need to seal this foam because I often use oil washes. I probably won't hear because it might dissolve the foam, but I know I want to paint the edges with a lacquer paint because that's what all of my edges are done in. If I use that straight here, I could potentially melt my foam around it. So to seal it, I'm using that classic mix of paint and matte Mod Podge, and it's doing double duty. It's also going to paint my surfaces as well. Now the matte Mod Podge just gives a bit of durability, and I'm using a warm grey acrylic paint, because I just love warm grey far more than I love any other colour of grey. However, I was a bit too splodgy around the edges, so I did come back and sand them nice and smooth. I actually did it several times through this process. Now the grey is acting as my mid-tone, so to bring out the depths, especially those black holes, I used a black acrylic wash. I actually did a whole video on how to use washes, not particularly long at all if you want to check it out. But this is a basic black acrylic wash. It flows quite well because it's got some flow improver in there, and I just brush it on everywhere and hope that it makes it look really cool. Washes can be miraculous at times. The standard edge or rim of my base is in a lacquer paint, sadly. It's Tire Black by Mr. Colour. 
and it's just great, easy to put on and make everything look uniform. I did a bit of looking around the internet, looking at everyone's bases, and I've got to say, I do prefer a just slightly off black. And then I realised I'd forgotten something important. The big bases have a cross on them so you can work out the line of fire for the front facing and rear facing guns. And I'd forgotten to add it in. Thankfully, I was able to score the foam really easily with the back of a knife and then use the wash to pick out that cross. Now, if you're doing a realistic scenery, you wouldn't want to put crosses on, but it can be quite useful to know that you can just score this with the back of a knife to get any kind of straight lines that you want in your foam. After this, I felt they may be a little bit dark, so I dry brushed on some neutral grey. It's not actually that much lighter, but I dry brushed it over the top to just provide a bit of variety and catch the edges of those holes. And because they're going to be handled a lot, I want them to be nice and tough. So I sprayed them with a couple of coats of plastic coat hobby and craft sealer. It's acrylic, so it won't affect the foam. And then I couldn't quite help myself. The black holes looked a little too black. So I just dry brushed a little bit of gray over the top, glued my men in place and I was done. So here they are, my first ever bases. That, I'm actually quite pleased how they came out. It's hard to match a cartoon anime to reality sometimes. And this moon, it had a rough surface with black holes and little holes in it. Well, I hope I've achieved that. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the bell button, all the usual things. Thank you as always to my patrons. And I'll see you all next time when I'm doing a Saluka My Base, otherwise known as Grass and Mud.